Jen. Well, all this week, it is Tornado Week here on the Weather Channel. Each day, we'll bring you unique looks at the raw power of twisters and what they do. Now, we want to go into the science behind the spin. On Tuesday, a tornado packing winds of 125 miles per hour tore through the city of Auckland, New Zealand, killing one person and injuring a dozen more. Hundreds of homes were damaged, and this destruction looks similar to what we see here in the U.S. Now, there are some major differences, though, between tornadoes that occur in the northern hemisphere compared to those that happen in the southern hemisphere. The New Zealand tornado caught on tape from that Tuesday. Uh, we're going to take you into the Tuscaloosa one, too, that was caught on tape from last Wednesday and look at some, some differences. So this is the New Zealand one. Uh, what you're going to notice is the direction of the debris flying around. It's actually flying around in a clockwise direction. Now, typically in the U.S., 99% of the time, tornadoes will actually be the other way. You will see the debris going around in a counterclockwise direction, such as what we saw last week in Tuscaloosa that we caught on tape from last Wednesday. Here's a look at that. You can see the debris in this case, again, going around in that counterclockwise direction. This is typical of the U.S. and of the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, 99% of the time, what they saw in New Zealand yesterday is what they get, which is a tornado that will rotate in a clockwise direction. Let's talk about why. So here in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got the jet stream that flows from west to east across the country. High pressure, the air around it blows clockwise around low pressure. It's counterclockwise. It's the opposite in the Southern Hemisphere. The jet stream actually goes from east to west and the direction of the air around high pressure. Well, that's actually counterclockwise and it's clockwise around a low pressure. Again, 99% of the tornadoes that would occur in New Zealand in the southern hemisphere would be in a clockwise direction, much like you see right here in a low pressure. You can think of a tornado as just a very, very localized area, very strong low pressure. Steph. All right, coming up next here on Your Weather Today, we have your weekly planner, also your MSNBC news headlines with Alex Witt. We're going to have... All right, uh, your weekly planner will let you...